Hey there, welcome to another tutorial on using the Logo Creator by Laughing Bird Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a quick page header like this. It's pretty easy, actually. So let's start with a blank document. I'm going to go under File, New Template. I want to save what I have. And we're going to start with a blank canvas. So for this example, we're going to do water. You can also do wood, you can do metal, whatever. Here's the idea. Create your text, add it to the canvas, and we're going to make giant text for now because we're going to resize this later. So we're going to go to the format menu and we're going to make the text really big and I like to squish it together. And we're going to use a fat font. I like impact. You can find any font in the list here. Whoops, we don't want this. You can find any font in the list here that that looks big. This one, chunk five, whatever. And we're going to import a texture. Now, if you don't have any textures already on your computer, which most of us probably don't have, you're going to hop onto Google and you're going to do a Google search for wood or water or something. I like to visit a site called 123RF, royalty free. That's what the RF stands for. And find an image, and this is a paid image site. So when you pay for an image, it's legal, and you can use it on your website. So I recommend paying for it. Um, if you want to take a chance and try doing a Google search for wood and going to images, you're going to find some, quote, free images that you can download, but you got to make sure that it's... It's not copyright, you know, I don't want you to steal anybody's images, okay? So once you find the image, download it, purchase it, however, to your desktop. In the logo creator, I have some built-in images, backgrounds and textures. Click on it, you'll see a couple of nice images, but if you're looking for water or looking for metal, it might not be here, so use the Google search or that 123rf.com site. So let's try, here's a water image. I'm going to drag it to the desktop, to the canvas. And we're going to export it as a JPEG image. Call this water texture. Okay, and we're going to save it into a folder, wherever you want to save it. Then we delete it, and we're back to our text. Now we're going to click on our text, and we're going to select color from the menu over here on the left, and image. We're going to import that water image with the water word. Browse, find wherever you saved it. Here's the water texture I saved, boom. And it's imported into the text. And you can kind of move it around a little bit. Now you'll notice when I move it around, it disappears because that's the edge of the water texture. Um, and actually, you can make some really cool effects with that, but I'll walk you through that in another tutorial. For now, here is your texture. Now we have to add an outline to it. So go under Outline, and boom. And here's your outline. You can make the outline thick if you want to. Okay, there. So now you have water. Now let's import that texture as the background. So we go under the File menu. We're going to select Import. We're going to find that same texture. And there it is. And we're going to move it to the back. Now we'll place it here. go and we'll make this just a tad tighter so that this is an actual page header okay and now we're going to fade the background back a bit image and I click on the format button we're going to fade it down a little bit and now we can make the outline of this instead of white I mean instead of black let's make it white 
and we'll add a drop shadow to it. And we'll switch the drop shadow to where I like it. And we'll fade the drop shadow back a little bit so it's not so powerful. And we got something going on here. Now, here's a cool trick I like to do. Click on the text and choose from the edit menu, choose paste selected element with offset. I know that's a long word, but just click it. And you'll notice it kind of pastes the same text with an offset. And you can do it a couple of times to give a really cool 3D look. Edit, paste with offset. And one more time, paste with offset. And there you go. So there's your page header. And to finish this up, we're going to go under the file menu and we're going to save it as a PNG with transparency. That means it's going to save it. All the white here is going to save it with the transparency. Watch the cool effect. Save it. And we'll call this water page header. Done. And then you can bring it into your website just like you would any graphic and here's your page header.